Good afternoon, Floss Tube. Has a cat jumping up. Um, today is Saturday, August, uh, August, 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 really August, eight, uh, and now it's April, going back, February, today is Saturday, February 8th, um, and my name is Elizabeth Martinez, Fanta Stitches, and this is a channel about cross stitch, so, <laughs> despite my stumbling over the date, um, hello. Uh, uh, I have a lot to, well, you know, uh, a little bit to show you. Uh, today, like I said, this is channel about cross stitch, so, um, that's what I'm going to get into. Um, one, one thing I want to mention, uh, before it's kind of a, a little life update is, um, a while back, I think I mentioned that my brother, uh, was... Uh, gonna have his toe amputated his big toe um, and we found out the other day I guess last two uh, this past Tuesday that uh, uh, that he was gonna have to have another toe uh, at least partially amputated I don't know if they took the whole toe or the tip I don't know but uh, fortunately, my sister was able to, my younger sister was able to fly out and uh, be with him for that surgery. And then, you know, she went out and back pretty quickly. But it was uh, good for, you know, uh, for my parents' sake because they could not go out there and, and, and uh, help him out. But she was, she was able to go out and be with him and talk to the doctors and all that stuff. So, so uh, he's recovering. Uh, he's recovering well. The surgery went surgery went well and everything so uh that's that's a good thing but anyway so this past week um i worked on a lot of things i did the daily um 30 minute stitching uh challenge that embroidery.com has going on it's um the hashtag for it is uh hashtag i love stitching and you have a 2020 on there i guess is is you know but anyway, it's the 2020 challenge. I did, guess I did a, a similar challenge last year. And, um, but anyway, so this one, it, uh, it's to stitch 30 minutes a day. And it's really helped me a lot just, you know, getting through some stuff, you know. Um, I'm, I've been using this little planner that I got in the mail as a, you know, with some fundraising, something or other that somebody sent me. Um. But, uh, you know, this little planner they sent out has been working because I've been just jogging down uh, what I worked on each day. So last uh, Saturday, I worked on the that Blackwork Angel that I was finishing, uh, working on, and I finished it. And then I worked on the little berry basket, uh, the one over one version um, that I was doing, and I finished that. And... On the, I, I had done the um, version of It's You I Like for my friend, and I decided to add a border, and I finished that. So, and then I actually FFO'd that. So, I got kind of a lot done, and then I worked on um, one of the Biscornus, the Gnome Biscornu. Um, I just, I started working on it um, Thursday night, uh, and I was going to work on it today, because I was out out and about uh, with my sister, my mom, dad, um, uh, and uh, and I took it with me, and then I ended up not working with on it, so I took it for a ride. But uh, so I want to. I think I'm just gonna go in order of what I worked on. Um, some so, so instead of doing like all my whips and all my finishes, I'm just gonna do it in order of how I worked on it. So in my little Evertote bag that I got, which I still love, uh, I got it some time ago and I've, I've switched, I've changed out the projects that were in it or whatever, but so I like it so much. So anyway, uh, so this Prairie Schoolers, Prairie Schooler Black Rock Angels, this is the one I was doing. It's kind of hard to see, but this little angel right here was the one I was working on. And I 
finished it. This is the back. <laughs> I have a big piece of material because I intend to do all eight of them on this one piece of material. Anyway, so this is the one I finished. So I, I did all the gold. Uh, it's a DMC. I think it's like 38... 25 I think or something like that um so it's her belt and the bottom of her dress is done with that gold and then there's like this dove has a little vine and there's some little gold accents uh little I don't know what they're supposed to be leaves or something they're gold and of course <laughs> the black stars that because they were supposed to be gold but they're black but I like the way that looks. But anyway, so yeah, this is a, a last time I last week I had just um, this part of the border to go and this dove, and I did that, and I did it correctly this time. And actually, last time, you know, I had started off the first time one the one I pulled out. I started off up here and did you know this, and then worked my way around here and. You know, and I knew there I had done something wrong in here, and then I I did this, and and there, and I hadn't done the. I don't know if I hadn't done her dress yet, or I started it, and uh, or all of it yet. I hadn't come down this far, and that's when I realized it. You know, instead of being even with the bottom of her dress, it was off by one. It was like down half a half a stitch down you know so that's why i pulled all of this out and so when i redid it i started down here and i went down this way instead and anyway it came all right this time so yeah there's a black rock angel so i've done four of them so far and there's four more to go and you know like i said i think i mentioned this last time too there is another one out there that was by itself that somebody had posted, um, you know, that they had done, uh, but it was it's it was not part of the the leaflet that I have. So I don't know if if uh, if that one is available anymore or not, or I don't want I don't know. So, and then. Um, uh, the other thing I did with my fancy plastic bag was uh, a berry basket pin cushion. And I had already done this once. Um, and then I, I did it again um, on uh, Hardanger. I did it 1 over 1. 22 count Hardanger 1 over 1. So somewhere in here. Sorry, there it is. Let me go ahead and get the other one out. So I I finished this uh, uh, two over two version um, with the twenty twenty on it uh, some time ago, uh, a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago. I don't know. Um, and then I I finished the. The one over one version, and this one has the 1851 uh, date that was originally done. And this is uh, Hardinger, 22, 22 count Hardinger, and I, I dyed it with berries, blueberries, uh, raspberries, and strawberries, I think. Uh, oops, I got this. So this is the two over two version and the one over one version. And... Uh, I have plans to do to use these for my the Smalls Exchange uh, at Stitch and Anigans. Anyway, so there's those. So, like I said, I this uh, this little uh, embroidery dot com challenge is helping me get through uh, some you know things. Well, and it's it's stuff that I had started, I guess. Uh, last year like before christmas and um you know help me sort of get get to those um and let's see oh the other thing 
Let me get this. Sorry. I have it stuck in this book just to protect it and keep it clean and keep it from getting dented or whatever because it's just cardboard. But um, this, I showed you this, uh, it's you I like. Um, it was still in the, in like in a, in a hoop. And I had not done this, but I decided to add this border just because it seemed like it was, you know, just floating out there. And I changed my mind about the way it finished it. Last time I talked about um, that I was going to do a, uh, like a pillow finish with a little cord, cording and a hanger made out of the cording. And uh, I changed my mind. I was talking to my sister. Um, and this is from my friend who's a violinist. And she was saying, well, you know, he could... If you make it small and flat, it's something he could put in his case to keep. So, so I made this, and this I had this uh, black and white music cloth, and so I just took, wrapped it around. A, this was a piece of cardboard, and this is a piece of cardboard, and it's just glued down. Um, and I, and I folded this in. I don't know if you can see. I made little mitered corners. My sister helped me figure out because like I was like I, I know it there's a way to do it I don't know how to do it um but uh so yeah so she helped me see how to do that and so this is just glued down the opposite way you know so, and then I glued this piece onto this one and you know <laughs> smashed it under my Riverside Shakespeare um to to stick it together um by the way, yeah, I like I like the way that turned out. And like I said, you know, if if it if it's if it's small enough, because I know like some some of the violinists that I knew, you know, kept like a, a picture of their kids or something like that, you know, in their case. So there's there's room in the case to put something, you know, flattish. And so this is flat enough, you know, that if if he wanted to, he could stick in his case. And if he wants to hang stick it on the wall or stick it somewhere in his apartment. You know it'll work as well so anyway that's the the little ffo that i had and this border i got this i have this border collection um and the one i used was it's hard to see but um it's right there there it is and there were there's uh there were a lot of uh, excellent ones. I actually wanted to use uh, this one here, but I couldn't make the math work out right. It would have been it would have you know come out funky. So anyway, that's that was uh, what I did with that one. Let's stick this back in here. So I want to keep it flat. And then the other thing I worked on, uh, just this the on Thursday, starting on Thursday, I be, uh, was I was back to working on this uh, uh, the tiny modernist gnome the scoring you. Uh, yeah. So I you know I've started doing you know just one and. And uh, I started to do some of the back stitching on it, um, just because. But let me make sure. Yeah. Okay. So I did the back stitching on this one. So this is actually almost done. I did. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little back stitching on this snail here, and uh, underneath this mushroom. And then there's gonna be some green here, a, a back stitching here, and some of this I think it's in the same yellow um connecting these uh little I don't know what they are things <laughs> um and then I I did this um uh, oh on this one this little uh version of it I I had left I had not done his this snail's eyes or his little pink cheeks and this little uh gnome I had not done the eyes or the pink on there either and the white uh spots on the on the mushrooms so i did all that uh and then i did the eyes on this one and <laughs> and the cheeks 
on this snail and I did uh, this gnome face over here and here and then these are the eyes and cheeks of this snail I didn't haven't finished this this yet I think I have to move the the hoop um, I have a small some smaller ones that I might use to you know to because this is like right at the edge of the fabric um, because I have this for the back of the of the biscuit which I have not done yet but so you know it has to be moved over this way the the, the cloth and so I'm kind of right up at the edge here but anyway so I was able to do the the green of the grass of this one but I still need to finish you know the mushrooms and and then the do the whole noom there and then this one is not done yet either so and but so anyway this one I I, I need to do the back stitching on the noom and then of course the, the back stitching in the flower as well and on the snail and the mushroom so I haven't done any back stitching on this one yet but this one this is uh, this is the first one it's almost done except for the the just the, the flower stem and the little whatever back stitching goes on those on that flower and so I haven't done the the yellow stuff on this flower or this one yet um, and I have to do the mushrooms and the, and the beer and the gnomes and everything else here but so yeah that's almost almost halfway done at least the the front of it but um so i'm uh this is what i was going to work on today while i was you know running around and this is in my uh little uh project bag by i said her name lot uh when she sent this to me and now i can't think of it ah I was I meant to to oh I and I just looked at at her name oh god sorry um but anyway the, I I I really uh like having this this project bag it's beautiful oh. and um, anyway so. So yeah, I think that's that's pretty much all I worked on uh this week. And um but yeah, I got a lot done um because of this uh challenge, you know, it, it kind of held me accountable to to work at least uh a little bit every day um on something, you know. The other thing I did was um I went um Thursday, I think, yeah, to Hobby Lobby. Uh, my older sister said, I want to go to Hobby Lobby, you know. Um, she was, um, she's working on, uh, last week we went to the gourd farm, and uh, and so she was, she now, you know, was looking for, um, she had watched a couple of tutorials to refresh her memory on, on working on the gourds and stuff because she used to like I said she used to do that with the uh, developmentally uh, delayed adults that she used to work with they had gone you know bought gourds and worked on them and over so um, so she was you know work wanted to get some stuff to work on the gourds so we went to Hobby Lobby and then uh, and bought and I bought some things of course I didn't need anything, but of course I, I bought some things. And then uh and then uh my younger sister on Friday said, Hey, you know, uh uh Joanne's is having <laughs> a kind of a sale thing. It was kind of like a um well some things were buy one get one free or something. And and but they also had this thing of, you know, any per you can make any purchase in the store and then you get like you can choose something from this you know, some free stuff that they had there. And it was mostly like, um, uh, you know, Christmas decor and stuff like that, you know. And so, eh, you know, <laughs> and um, so, yeah, I got, I think I got something. Um, but there wasn't, it was, you know, 
kind of picked over by the time we got there. Well, there wasn't anything, you know, there were a lot of like holiday picks, you know, like, like little sprigs of pine and, uh, pine cones and things like that. And, and, and those are probably, you know, good for some people, but you know, I'm, I wasn't really interested in it. But anyway, so, so between Hobby Lobby and Joanne's, I bought kind of, you know, a lot of stuff. Um, so, sorry about the, the noise from the bags, but I just kept everything in the plastic bags because cats, you know. So anyway, um, I, I was looking at some of their, uh, in their scrapbook paper, you know. So I, I, they had some Christmas stuff and I just was, you know, looking at some of that. So there's a this one with the uh, ornaments and this one with this just stripes, and then uh, this one with Santa Claus. It's kind of I just I was kind of looking at some some cute uh, designs, and there's another one with red and white stripes, kind of distressed and old fashioned looking, and uh, this one that has a some uh, Christmas Carol thing stuff on it, and. This one with the candy canes, and this one with some old-fashioned Santas. So anyway, I just thought, you know, for some reason, I, I just was looking at Christmas paper. They have, you know, they have, of course, all kinds of other papers, but, but I was thinking about, I was thinking about actually about 10 minutes to midnight and something that might work with that, or... I might do something different, but anyway, that was kind of on my mind. And then, uh, let's see. I think I got this set. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> some stuff I got at Joanne's, some stuff I've got, I got at Hobby Lobby, and I don't remember which is which necessarily. Or maybe I do. Um, this is what I got off the little freebie things. It's a, it's a, it's wired, uh, ribbon, but, um, but it's like old-fashioned lanterns, you know, green and red lanterns. So it's it's also Christmassy. Um, but then I bought like a a little piece of this is just sticky board from Joanne's and some uh, um, Lugana even weave Lugana twenty eight count even weave Lugana at Joanne's and then this. I don't remember if I got this at Joanne's or Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, I think. Yeah. Um, but it's just a, a vinyl bag. It's, it's, uh, uh, what do you call it? On the bottom, you know, like a wider on the bottom. <laughs> I can't think of the, the word. But it has a little handle and it's, you know, made out of vinyl. It says, Moist, mo yeah. Most Embroidery Floss Wins. Oh. But anyway, so yeah, that's a little project bag thing. And then um I bought some uh some needles. Some these are um twenty four count gold uh gold needles. Um Sorry, round end. Oh, that just means they're not pointy. They're not sharp. Yeah, so there's just just four of them. But I figured that was a, a, a good size. And then, what else did I buy? I bought a lot of stuff. Dang. <laughs> Sorry. I bought, uh, this is all from Hobby Lobby. I bought some more, some linen. This is tor 32 count. Uh, Belfast linen and white also. I'll probably uh, dye both of those. I just, you know. And then um, I bought some fabric. Um, this little block of colors. I probably, I was, I was, you know, I was going to, I bought that old world uh, pattern uh, fabric at Walmart the other day. And, but then, because I haven't, hadn't, I had looked around and I hadn't found a fabric that I liked f uh, to back that berry basket pin cushion thing. But I think I, I, I think I'm all 
probably use this or something, you know, this one. I like this too. But so it's just kind of plain and, and understated, which was what I was looking for. But anyway, so there's some, some other colors there too. And then this one I bought just because it was cute and I wanted it. There's some sheep here. Little sheep. Here. And then some uh, other animals. There's just some little pigs there. And a big pig. And some other uh, fabrics. These are all in black and white. Whimsical. There's a kitty. And I don't know if there's anything besides polka dots on there. I haven't I haven't taken this bundle apart to to see what was on there. I just like the the sheep I saw right away and decided to get that. And then I bought um, a piece of wood. Oh, just this. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna paint it or if I stain it. I have to like buy some stain because I don't, I don't have anything to stain it with so I'll, I'll probably paint it. I like that knot though but uh it's just a you know I, it needs to be like sanded or something too because it's kind of the edges are kind of rough and then I bought excuse me <laughs> um I bought just another, another hoop this one's slightly smaller than that that gnome discoring you one I, uh, this is a seven inch hoop and I, 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 um, I have a whole bunch of different sizes, but I like the, these that have, they have a, a edge, a little edge under them that, that, uh, it grips the material really well. So I just, I bought another one. I get another one. I have a bunch now. And then I bought a little, um, round organizer thing. You can put beads or whatever in it. And, um, and I have, uh, I have some several that uh i have one of these containers and it's full and then i have some left over and so i thought i would just buy another uh, container like that you know it's dangerous to go when you don't have anything specific in mind that you need stuff for because it's like going to the grocery store i mentioned this before it's like going to the grocery store when you're hungry you just buy everything you know and, uh, yeah, so that's what I was doing. I was buying all kinds of junk that I didn't necessarily need, but that I wanted, you know. So, anyway. So, I think that's, that's, uh, all I have to, to, had to cover. Um, my cats are going crazy. Um. Anyway, so I think that's 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 it. I want to um, continue working on the gnome Biscornu, um, and maybe finish that the front of it. Like I said, it's about it's about halfway done, but um, I want to go ahead and finish the the front side of it and get on to the back side of it, and then uh, and you know maybe by the end of this month I can finish it off. Um, and then I want to work on the other Biscorn you too. So, so I might try to get both of them, you know, in my 30 minutes a day schedule. Um, in fact, I'm actually working, you know, more than 30 minutes a day, but, um, but with that challenge going on, it, it, it spurs me on to work at least 30 minutes a day, if not longer, uh, on each of those, uh, things. So if I, if I can work on the Gnome Biscorn you and Dragon Biscorn you hopefully i can i can get them done uh uh before the end of the month or by the end of the month um and then also maybe maybe uh start on the next uh black rock angel i kind of want to do that too and um and there's a couple other things that i want to work on that i want to finish that i want to start whatever you know as always but so, so yeah, so the, the little monthly, I mean, daily challenge thing is, is really helping me. Sorry, I thought my cat was going to, here comes Puck to sort of stick his nose in and get everything. That's around with everything. You want to come and say hi? No? Yes? No? Maybe so? Come here. Come here. Come here, Pucky.
Come here. Come here. A minute ago he was I mean you know, this this morning and I was I went to go get to go get my a uh, pedicure, my um get my toenails worked on. And I was like I was bending over to get my uh, my little sandal things that I wear to the, to get a pedicure because I can slip them on and off uh, without messing up my toes. Um, I went to they were they gotten shoved under my chair, so I had gotten I was bending over to get them out. And so while I was bent over, of course, he jumped on my back because that's the way he is. <laughs> come here, come here, come here, say hi, come here, come here, Bucky. Mama, my mommy told you. There's Buckley. Mm, 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 mm. Here he is. <laughs> I guess he's mad. You're mad? Are you mad? Okay. All right. So that's uh, that's the end. <laughs> um, now that oh now now he wants back. He wants to make another appearance. He stretched his bones. He doesn't want to say hi. He wants to show you his. He wants. He's purring in my ear. There he goes again. Okay, stop. <laughs> uh, so I will see you next week, and hopefully, I'll have worked on more than. Uh, right now, I'm working on just the the gnome biscornu, but um, I can. You know, I. I some other things I can uh, work on for this 30-minute-a-day uh, challenge. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll, I'll do some more of that to find something else to put on my schedule. Okay, so I will see you next time. Again, I am Elizabeth Martinez, Fanta Stitches. And uh, I want to say thanks for, for my subscribers for watching again. And to any new uh, viewers, uh, if you want to hit that subscribe button and the, and the alert uh, bell beside it, that would give you a, a, a heads up and notification every time I do a new uh, uh, update. Um, again, if you want uh, the little freebie, uh, the Arizona quail that I've been featuring for the past couple of weeks, it'll, I'll, I'll try to log, uh, put that in the description box below as well as my contact information. You can find me in the Friday Off the Grid group and the uh, Stitching with the Housewives group and embroidery.com uh, Facebook group as well. Um, my cats are squaring off, trying to fight each other. Um, okay, so I'll put all that in information contact information and the, and uh, stuff in the in the description box below and I think that's it the, like I said the, the link to the Arizona quail pattern will be all in the box below also and I think that's it so I will see you next time oh so until then keep stitching bye